Welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Ardell and today's video is all about this stunning Defender 110 plus the modifications that we've made to it. And today's video is all about functionality. How we've actually upgraded the radio in the car for a full double DIN conversion. Looks absolutely incredible. And today I'm literally gonna be going through everything with you in terms of not only showing you a little bit behind the scenes about the work that we carry out full dashboard removal on this, but also I'm gonna be showing you the functionality that you actually get with this particular upgrade. This unit itself is something called a Kenwood 8020, wireless CarPlay and wireless Android Auto, but that's enough talking outside for now. Let's jump inside the vehicle and show you exactly how it works. done here is a full double DIN conversion. What's actually involved in that is fully removing the entire dashboard, plus we've relocated some of the buttons over to this panel here. Inside this area, we've actually embossed our logo into here, which looks really quite cool and quite subtle as well, but that's quite a nice little feature. You've got full relocation of things like your window switches and all your heating controls here as well. All still really accessible, but look at this. We've got the new Kenwood 8020. The obviously units always change depending on uh, time and obviously new units and stuff but generally speaking Kenwood, Pioneer, Alpine are brands we use day in day out they are phenomenal brands uh, but there are good and bad ones in each brand and this is one of our recommended ones so this features wireless Apple CarPlay as well as full wireless Android Auto so perfect for those people who either have multiple phones or multiple drivers that use either Apple or Android or just want that wireless functionality. What we've also done is added on an antenna on the front wing which giving us full digital radio as well as FM but the main thing most people are going to be using is stuff like this on Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. This is fantastic because it's got everything from phone calls to your uh, Google Maps, Waze, you name it. It's all live directly on here. It knows exactly everything my phone does. And I've also got different radio stations like TalkSport as well if I want to listen to that. Then you've got full Spotify integration as well as Tidal if you have that. But yeah, overall, seamless integration. This also works for Android phones as well. So on the actual unit itself, as you can tell just from me clicking this, it is really, really responsive. We've changed the key color to red just to match some of the bits from the interior, which are red, uh, but these are customizable as well. The other really cool thing is when I select reverse, automatically pops up the actual camera image. We've gone for a high line unit at the moment on this. Obviously we do the option of lower down as well, just depending on the kind of visual um, aesthetics of what you're looking to kind of achieve on this picture, but that is a full seven inch screen there. So basically on the unit, you've got loads of functionality, but these are kind of your main, main ones here, your digital radio, your Apple CarPlay, your Android Auto. And again, both of them two are fully wireless, which is really cool. Obviously the system features hands-free as well. And while we've been in the car, we've also upgraded the internal LED lights as well. So yeah, just overall a massive difference in functionality here. You've got a really nice responsive touchscreen here featuring loads of stuff like your phone calls, your music integration, everything you pretty much need while driving even your whatsapp messages can come through here so literally everything you should possibly want down now all on that new seven inch screen we do quite a few different options but the double din conversion looks really really nice it's seamless integration fits all really perfectly and nice as well and obviously retaining the nice clock as well at the top but yeah overall that's kind of what the system looks like but what's involved in doing this is quite a lot of work we fully remove the dashboard so we can mount everything nice and securely and safely behind the scenes we do take our time with these things they're not quick they're not there to be rushed they're designed to be done belt and braces and done very properly. The other thing we've done also while the dashboard's in and out is changed over some of the cubby boxes, uh, the covers for the upholstery in the vehicle just over to leather ones. We do a couple of different ones and different options for that as well. So not only is it the double DIN conversion, we've also done a few other extras on the car. So just to make the whole interior just a slightly more pleasant place to be. But yeah, overall, hopefully that's shown you a little bit more about the 8020 double DIN conversion on the Land Rover Defender 110. So thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.